Merry Christmas, everybody. This is Michael Pruderum from YummyArts.com. We are here today with Tammy Utley going to show us a Christmas uh, cake. Um, poinsettia is with lights, and it's going to be awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, Tammy Utley. <laughs> Hi, everybody. <laughs> so glad you can make it. You're not out shopping. I would be out shopping if I weren't here. Um, but I'm glad you're here, and I'm glad I'm here. And we're going to do a gum paste poinsettia, and our tree will have lights on it. Look, ooh, pretty. Ooh, see they light up. These are, <laughs> these are um, lights that I found actually in the floral section of my local craft store at Michael's. Um, they're just little, you know, LED. It's a 10 light set. I've noticed that they also have like the one string, you know, one strand ones. Those, um, you can use those also. Those were in the Christmas section. They're not as easy to use. They've got like a clear or a white strand on them. It isn't gonna matter because we're covering it with tape. But um, you can use those, it's just a lot harder because you gotta like really bunch the wires up. So if you can find the one in the floral section that's like this, and you'll be able to tell that the lights are all on, you know, they're each on an individual strand like this. Battery operated, put my, my two double A's in here, um, and we're gonna wire this, and actually I'll show you how to do this first before I even start with the gum paste. So we get our wiring out of the way. So what I've got here is I've got, it's got 10 lights and I'm gonna put five on each side. So I've got some of my tape, this is floral tape. And you um, don't have to cut it, but it's nice to cut it. So I have my little stripper here. Um, you can cut it in half or you can use your stripper. This cuts it in, I think it cuts it in fours once I get it in here. I'm trying not to get near the razor blade because I'm kind of a klutz and I'll hurt myself. This is a ribbon cutter and you just press down and pull <laughs> isn't that nice oh so easy okay and then I have my ribbon already cut for me in case you haven't already seen that for your tape okay so for floral tape to activate it you need to stretch it so give it a little stretch like that okay and it activates the kind of gumminess that's on here and we're going to take a whoop, 24 gauge wire I'm sorry this coat's a little big on me <laughs> not quite Maybe you're just a little small in the A little small. I've been I have been <laughs> trying to lose trying to lose some weight, so it was cake decorations. Okay, so this is a 24 gauge wire and it's probably about, I don't know, probably about five, six inches long. And that looks about right. What I want to do is I want to make a branch and I want to be able to bend it. So that's why I'm using a wire. And just take a split these in half. So I have five on one side and five on the other. So I just stretch the tape and I'm just going right to the top of the light and you gotta squeeze it and I've got shortening on my hands so it's kind of slippery. Just kind of squeeze it and wrap it around. And the only issue you're gonna have, of course, is when you wrap it around, this starts to, to twirl. So that's fine, let it twirl. But this part up here is stiff already. It's kind of like a thick little plastic thing. And then you're going to add this wire. So I'm just going to put it on here and start taping this wire on. I might miss twirl a little. Okay, so I'm just taping the wire on. God, you guys got me shaking. Look, I'm nervous. Like I've never taught before. Like I haven't been doing this for 20 years. Okay, oh, there's the other tape. I knew I had it somewhere. Okay, so we go down a little bit, just taped it down a little, and then we're gonna add one of our lights. So let's go grab some of our loose lights here. Like I said, I've got the tape on some of them already started here. Okay, so I've already taped this guy down because the very top of the light doesn't get, you know, is gonna stick out a little bit. So all I'm doing is taking that and adding it right here, give it a little space. So they're not, you know, right next to each other. A little space. I want to look like a, you know, a rickety tree branch. Not that we don't have bare tree branches here. 